Let's start on that day when you and PK get expelled from Nitish Kumar's Janata Dal United. Why I remember that day so well is I remember reporting the story uh, that you had a meeting with Nitish Kumar and you were urging him, both of you at that time, to leave the NDA. He doesn't do so. He expels the two of you. A few months down the road, he does exactly what you'd asked him to do. Did he, in a way, take you by surprise? Or does it make no difference to you now what Nitish Kumar does? And I start there, not just because it concerns you, but because there is talk that Nitish Kumar is seeking to be the convener of the opposition alliance. So it's important to talk about Nitish Kumar. You see, I never speak publicly in a, in a manner which is... Uh, uncomplimentary to Nitish Kumar because he was my first leader. He did a lot for me. He gave me a lot of respect. But he also threw you out. Yes, but that was a difference on principle. But when I joined Nitish Kumar in 2013 January, he was Prime Ministerial Material. And that is not the reason why I joined him. It was his uh, uh, personal rectitude his administrative acumen, his image of having transformed Bihar, uh, his uh, personal credentials in terms of a thinker, an educated politician. And he had the potential, as one Satul Bihari Vajpayee predicted, of being at the helm of affairs in politics. And today? And today, I think he himself has squandered the legacy which he should normally have been heir to by so many frequent changes of his own political fealties, loyalties. He took a stand in 2013 that he would oppose a BJP led by Narendra. It was a stand taken on principle, you can agree with it or not agree with it. And we who were with him uh, supported him on the basis of principles and ideology as he espoused it. Then overnight, frankly without consulting any of the National General Secretaries and, and I was one of them, he switched to the NDA that uh, I believe that the BJP being what it is, it's an electoral machine, it's an ambitious party, it's led by a charismatic leader, it's expansionist, that it uh, is uh, possible that the BJP may uh, use him as an accessory but not allow him his previous role where he was the boss and the BJP was the, let us say, subordinate partner. He joined the very people, like he had joined the BJP in, earlier, whom he had been so critical of when he had joined the BJP. So he joined Lalu and Tejasvi. Now, in all these flip-flops, two things suffered. One is his personal credibility as a leader who had one time a reputation Barka, of resigning to take moral responsibility. You know, he was a railway yeah, minister yeah. and he resigned and Atulji had to spend a lot of time persuading him to come back. Here was a person who to remain chief minister, I, that is being said by his more uncharitable critics changed sides so frequently that I think somewhere in the eyes of the people of Bihar, he lost credibility. He became Paltu Chacha as they called him. Well, there were many appellations given, but... Uh, but you know, this was the same man of whom Ramchandra Guha once wrote a piece saying this is India's Barack Obama. Yes, he could have been. How would you describe him today? I think uh, at this stage, he is probably playing the last song of his political career. I feel sorry when I say this because I have great respect for him otherwise as a human being and we have remained friends oh. even after I was expelled. You don't think of going back to him? 
to no, the JDU because, because now it had taken the position that you and Prashant Kishore had urged him to take. No, no. You see, the point is not that. Point is, he has not asked me to come back. Second, and if he did, even if he did, I believe that what is happening in Bihar now has left uh, Nitish Kumar isolated. 